All right, what's going on, guys? Well, I haven't forgot about y'all. I've just been extremely busy. But I'm going to do an update on my white bike for y'all that know that for our Red Oak ride. Uh, her bike caught on fire. I ordered the fender. The wrong, they ordered the wrong color, so they had to reorder it. So now I got it on. Looks good. Everything's all bolted, secured. And I'll show you the old one. Sorry, it's been snowing and stuff out here, so everything's melting. This was the damage to the old one right here. So you can see where the peak of the heat, because this isn't supposed to be like this. So you can also see where I drilled the hole right here for that side piece right there to zip tight so she can continue running, but some melted plastic on it. It melted it pretty good, but that's where I cut some of it away for the exhaust wouldn't rub so she can uh, continue riding it wouldn't re-catch fire. Not bad though. Uh, as you can see though, that this fender is only, you know, a half per se. Take all these bolts off, one to this bar right here, one on each bar right there, same thing on this side. These bolt, two bolts, one here, one under here, and I took the two plastic clips off right here. These two bolts, and basically ten minutes that if if that it came out, and then you got two bolts that connect to these together underneath here. One down there. I still haven't tightened it up yet and put the other one in, but yeah, it's a. Uh, pretty simple had to replace that which I got a bunch of them sitting around don't know where that one went I think it got broke off when we were trying to rip it out from the fire so I got to replace the toddle switch 17 bucks takes six days to get here off of eBay it just randomly decided to come off but yeah that's that's the update on her full wheeler uh, once I get the toddle switch in and everything the bike will be going up for sale and we will be purchasing her new one you can see I got this torn apart right now clean it all clean everything up but I had to see how the wiring was on that toggle switch because I didn't want to buy one and had to slice into it and all this I just want to plug and play make it simple and easy so you had to get way up in there where the box is up in here where it connects I'll show you so let me see if I can find it so all the wiring comes and goes to that box right there it's dirty but uh everything just plugs and plays on the winch and I didn't want her to slice anything out you don't have much room to get your hands in there so if I can just make it where I can pl pull everything out and just slide it in with some needle nose it would uh, make life easier but yeah that's everything that's base up everything haven't done nothing to this bike yet I do have some 32s that are on the way the struggle is real trying to find a little kit that I like um, there's not a whole lot on the market right now prototyping them I guess these companies are doing still so but I am but I've been neglecting to upload 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 I still got some more red oaks and some other footage I literally haven't ridden five weeks uh, but I give you an update of what's been going on I sold my boat my 18 foot 2018 Wabalo and I've been dealing with brokers for the last five weeks horrible aggravating worst thing in the world stay away from it if you have to my opinion it's just you message them they just they don't they don't contact you in a reasonable time it's whenever they want to three weeks later or whatever but I've got a new boat on the way and everything so we'll be able to do even more offshore close by fishing to this uh, side of Virginia Virginia Beach side and stuff I bought a, a well craft so 
that's what I've been up to. Haven't ghosted y'all or nothing, just been busy. It actually took me a while just to find my charger for my GoPro. It was completely dead. How about that? <laughs> Everything's mucky. It's mud. Had a lot of snow. Y'all guys in Virginia, y'all know about it. We just got hit with snow and stuff not too long ago, so it's all melting away and then we're getting rain on top of it. But yeah, I need to clean her up, give her a bath and stuff. She got some battle runes. This is the first time my wife took it into a washout at Slade's and leaned it up against a dirt thing. But bikes are going to get scratched and made to be rude and not sit in the garage or on the asphalt. But yeah, that's it. Just got to clean her up and get her ready and then back to shopping for a new bike for the, for the wife. But I am disappointed in how this occurred. Nothing I can do about it. It's the way KM is, but I tell you, I do like the split fender. It saves costs. We don't have to replace the whole entire fender. And it's very simple. And once you take everything apart, you might as well just take the time to clean it all out because you won't believe how much crap is stuffed in all the crevices and stuff, pine straw and all that crap. So but anyways, I catch y'all later. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I hope this helps somebody that's changing the a fender out that needs to know how. These are the rear bolts right there. So once you take those out, take the rest of these out. This completely comes off. There is one bolt right there. So if y'all have any questions, just hit me up, and I try to help you out as I can. Catch y'all later, and y'all take it easy.